Hi everyone, welcome back to Rainbows Are Circles. My name is Julie Malari, and today we are reading a wonderful children's book, What Do You Do With An Idea? And this is by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by May Bisom. This is a New York Times bestseller. Again, it's a children's book and it's not just for kids. It has a beautiful lesson in here about really feeding and nurturing our ideas. I think especially as adults when we have an idea, um, sometimes we stop ourselves from acting on them because we doubt ourselves, we question whether it's gonna work out or if it's the right decision or if it's the right idea. And when we overthink and overanalyze, we tend to really end up in analysis paralysis and we often just stop ourselves from even beginning something. So this is a really good book to inspire us to do something with our ideas. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here, I wondered. What do you do with an idea? That's the idea. A little golden egg with a crown. At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. Don't leave me behind. He's leaving it behind. But it followed me. That sneaky little idea. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. Sound familiar? It does for me. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. Oh, <laughs> he put it in his backpack. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and then it would never become anything. You know what those people are called? Dream killers or Debbie Downers. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. Don't do that. But then I realized, what do they know? What do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. What's 
gonna happen to the idea? Oh, there it goes. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof, where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. <sighs> so good. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Ooh, it's not an egg anymore. What is it? I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. Oh, so good getting a little teary-eyed. The end. Did you enjoy that as much as I did? So good. Um, this really resonated with me. I mean, it resonated a few years ago when I first read it, but rereading it right now really reminds me of just this YouTube channel that I'm creating. It's an idea that I've had for a long time, but I was really afraid to, to even like speak it out loud or to admit it because I knew that once I said it out loud that I would have to pursue it. And I was really scared of doing that because I didn't know if it was gonna work out, if I was gonna enjoy it. I didn't know if people were gonna watch it or if it'd have like, you know, hardly any subscribers and you know, I just realized that I just have to try it out and have fun with it. And, um, you know, our, our ideas are in us for a reason. They're not just like random things that everybody gets. Not everybody has the same ideas. So when you have a special idea just for you, I think it's up to you or it's up to me and us to really nurture it and feed it and give it our attention and whatever happens with it whether it works out or not whether it changes into something else regardless we learn from everything that we experience and we owe it to ourselves to nurture the ideas and the dreams that we have so again what do you do with an idea this book is by kobe yamada and illustrated so beautifully by may be I'm not sure if it's be some or best some, but anywho, check it out. It's a great gift for children and adults alike. I think this would be a really cool graduation gift actually. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have um, ideas for other books that you'd like to read together, please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to know when I have new ones available, you can also click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.